swollen with con conceit, meaning I got I got the right way. Love it, and all of them, any of them that that are part of this thing, when that major prophecy comes to pass before the destruction comes and the kingdom comes, a lot of those people that blindly follow these individuals, they're going to wind up taking that MOTB and they're going to be destroyed. Oh, oh, I mean, let me see if I can find this video. Let me see if I can find this video here. The new thing now with the IUIC is you can take it and still be saved. Let me see if I can find it. Which is a total, total violation of scripture. Okay, that is not what the Apostle John saw on the island of Patmos. What the Apostle John saw on the island of Patmos and what he recorded was that anyone taking that mark, which is the MOTB, which you should know what it is, will surely be destroyed. As a matter of fact, and you just heard what Elder Pastor said, the IUIC said, which once again, I, look, we've, we've done told you about that group. Yahweh Shemel Shai is not dealing with that group. Now, are there members of the elect out of that group? Yes, we believe so. But the Lord is going to sift them. That's pursuant to Amos, the ninth chapter, the ninth verse, where the Lord said he's going to sift the house of Israel. Why is the Heavenly Father going to sift the house of Israel through his son, Yahweh Shai? To get his elect. It's all about the elect. Just because a guy calls himself an Israelite don't mean he's an Israelite of God. Galatians 6 and 16. There's something called an Israelite of God. That's another title for the elect. There was a scripture I wanted to get. But it just escaped me. Maybe it'll come back to me. Let me go back to the video. Oh, I remember what it is. Revelation, the 14th chapter, the ninth verse. Barakatai Ha'abah Shem Yashai. He brought it back to my memory. Revelation, the 14th chapter, the ninth verse. Now, you just heard what Elder Pastor said, the IUIC said, and he's going to play the clip so you know he ain't just putting words in their mouth. As it is written, prove all things. Revelation 14 and 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, a loud voice, not a, not a, <laughs> not a, not a tiny voice, a loud voice, okay, spoke, spoke up like a man. If any man worship the beast, what is the beast? That's the Roman Empire, which we're living in the, um, the re-emergence of the Roman Empire through the so-called New World Order that is being brought through the top banking families of the planet Earth, whose nationality, according to the Bible, is Esau, Edom, starting with the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Langolos, okay? Families that are above the law, okay? Families that are in charge, that are ruling this planet Earth in wickedness. They want to bring something called a so-called new world order. And the vibration comes out of the Roman Empire, which the Bible calls the beast, okay? So if any man worship the beast and his image, what is his image? The so-called new world order. Okay, bowing down to the, the so-called white man's system, which the word system means pit, which goes back to the new world order. That's what they want to bring. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand. What is that? Or oh, in his hand, I'm sorry. Re well, there's a scripture where it says right hand, and, and this scripture says, or oh, in his hand. What is that? That is the electronic device. That is a, a, a mark if you will, that you are down with the so-called New World Order, that you are a total devotee, or some say devotee, to the New World Order. Okay, let's, let's not forget the speech that, um, the speech that um, Aaron Russo gave to Alex Jones. Okay, I always mention that because that's such a, a heavy point, and that is proof of what the top wicked elite want to bring, which is that electronic tag to tag everybody, to identify everybody who's supposed to be slaves, servants to the so-called New World Order. Okay? 
that electronic device. Okay? If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, again, going to going back to the speech that Aaron Russo gave uh, Alex Jones before he passed away, and he talked about his friendship with Nick Rockefeller. All of a sudden, Nick Rockefeller doesn't exist. <laughs> make that make sense. Anyway, he, Aaron Russo, and you can clearly see he, he's a man of truth, Aaron Russo. He, he told the truth. He, which I believe they silenced him, supposedly he died of cancer. But I think there's a little, uh, a little, uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? A, a little, uh, a little, um, something is rotten in Denmark, as they used to say. Let's put it that way. Okay. A little deception there. Anyway, Aaron Russo said, Nick Rockefeller said to him, they want everyone C-H-I-P-P-E-D. Okay. They want everyone tagged. All right. So. This is what we're reading here. This is what the Apostle John saw in his vision on the island of Patmos. And it's recorded in the book of Revelation. If any man worship the beast and his image, now you know what that means. And receive his, his mark written, or oh, I'm sorry, receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Heavenly Father. What is that? That's the nuclear destruction. Okay, coming from those nuclear missiles. Or the destruction coming from the chariot. So if the nuclear missiles don't get you, which are which is part of the army of the Lord, pursuant to Joel the second chapter, if the nuclear missiles don't get you, the laser beams of the chariot will. Either way, you're going to be destroyed. Either way, that's the wine of the wrath of the heavenly Father. And our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming with some serious wrath. As it is recorded in scripture, right? Isaiah 66 and 15 is a great example. The slain of the Lord shall be many as it is written. That's serious wrath. Which is poured out without mixture. I Meaning you're going to get the full brunt of it. The full brunt of the fire. Either from the missiles or the chariots. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Indignation means righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's right, because when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's not coming back alone. He's coming back with an army of angels. And they're going to be in those so-called UFOs. They're going to be in those chariots. And one of the things Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to do is kill people. Kill a lot of people. Destroy a lot of people with those, with those laser beams of fire. And like I said, if the laser beams of fire don't get you, those chariots will, um, those missiles will. Either way, it's going to be fire. Remember, the Lord said, Luke 12 and 49, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? So the main people that's going to be roasted and toasted, cooked in that fire, are the ones who took that electronic device. Thus saith the Lord. That's what the scriptures say. So hey, you got this ragtag group led by this fucking megalomaniac, this this uh, uh, this uh, Baron Samedi, look that up. Who's leading that group, leading you 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 morons astray? Now he's now his group is telling you out. Well, I haven't heard the video yet. I'm about to play it, but now his group is telling you that you can take you can take that mark, okay, and still be saved. So let's listen. We told you, you can either listen to us, what we got to say, or listen to somebody else and be condemned That's it. by the Most High. That's it. We told you, man. So you don't think I'm putting words in the IUIC's mouth? My first one that pops up. If you put in GMS, you ain't gonna. This hope it comes up, and it's and I believe it's recent.
Yeah, this this devil right here, Pat Robinson, he puts he speaks from both sides of his mouth. Hell yeah. He sticks that serpent's serpent's tongue out of both sides of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, Pat Robinson, he wrote a book, and you can Google this. He wrote a book called The New World Order. So he's another proponent of the this so-called New World Order, Pat Robinson. Nothing but a snake. Well, he's a Edomite. He's a he's a serpent. He's a devil. He says the MOT is in the scriptures, but this thing that you're gonna get is not the MOT. MOT. So he tells you, but he doesn't tell you. That's what they do. Let's hope I find it. Let's hope I find it. I don't want to put words to uh, back up Apostle Tov. Another example is this guy, G. Edward Griffin. He did a video called The Capitalist Conspiracy. Now, at the beginning of the video, he gives you ample proof there is a conspiracy, the so-called New World Order, and he uses the example of Dr. Carol Quigley. Now, Dr. Carol Quigley was a mentor of the former uh, President Bill Clinton. Anyway, to make a long story short, Dr. Carol Quigley uh, wrote a book called uh, Tr uh, Tragedy, always had trouble saying that word, Tragedy and Hope. Now in the book he says he knows of the operations of that group, that is, you know, the, the uh, group that's behind the so-called New World Order, because he studied that group for two years in the early 1960s. Okay, that's in the book Tragedy and Hope. If you watch if you watch the uh, video, Capitalist Conspiracy, uh, G. Edward Griffin br brings out that information. But then towards the end of the video, towards the end of the video, he says, oh, uh, until we find out, uh, how do he say it? Until we find out someone who can tell us about the group, we don't know if there is such a group. Something like that. He said, you know, I didn't put it exactly how he said it, but it's in the video. So, in other words, at the beginning of the video, he gives you ample proof, but towards the end of the video, he, he sows a seed of doubt. And that's just what Elder Apostol said. That's what they do. That's these devils. They'll reveal the truth, but then they'll come back and try to hide it. Because they're a the serpent. They, they speak out of both sides of their mouth. So that example just came to me of uh, G. Edward Griffin. And uh, when he talked about... Uh, what doc, Dr. Carol Quigley had said in his book, Tragedy and Hope. Okay, so let's move on. In their mouth. Okay, I found it. I there found you go. It. Proof. First Corinthians. Uh, First Corinthians. First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, the uh, twenty-first verse. Prove all things. This is a short. It says M O T B I U I C Israelite United in in uh. I don't even like Christ. This means means uh, anointed Nathaniel seven. This was seven months ago, Nashville, Tennessee. So I want you to listen, right? Matter of fact, you know what? It says that shit. In wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right, so the right of Margaret of Peace can enter into the kingdom, you think? No, you can't show the white man can force it on you. Let me let you just listen. Let me let you just listen. So this is what they're saying. This is what IUIC is teaching. That uh, you can get it. Let's suppose it's it. You can get it and you can still be delivered because all you got to do is ask the most high to forgive you. L let's listen. Get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? You think? No, you can't. So if the white man can force it in you, can you not still repent? You should have still been able to repent, right? See what I'm saying? So that's why I read the scripture about them having dominion over your body. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or uh, uh, you got the chip in you, you don't know it, guess what? You still should be able to repent and get into the kingdom of heaven regardless. Right. So, right. So, if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? You think? No, you can't. So, if the white man can force it in you, can you not still repent? 
you should have still be able to repent, right? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was reading the scripture about you ever have a dominion over your body. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or uh, you got the chip in you, you don't know it. Guess what? You still should be able to repent and get into the kingdom of heaven regardless. Right. So, right. Now he said, that's right. That's right. Let me let you hear it again. Let me let you hear it again. The leadership of the IUIC has a lot of explaining to do because they're saying that the C hip is the MOTB, the fulfillment of Revelation 13. But he said, you can still go into the kingdom of heaven if you repent. Let's listen again. You heard what he said. I'm not putting words in their mouth. I'm letting them speak. You see a guy speaking. I'm not playing with the video. So if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? You think? Based upon what he says, he knows what the MOTB is, right? He's not. He didn't say it was Christianity. He didn't say it's sin. He said, if you get the MOTB, can you still enter? Yeah, I had to put this thing on pause, so... um. I'm here at the park so I could uh, move to another location. So let me bring this back uh, 20 seconds and play it again. You see a guy speaking. I'm not playing with the video. So if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? You think? Based upon what he says, he knows what the MOTB is, right? He's not, he didn't say it was Christianity. He didn't say it's sin. He said, if you get the MOTB, can you still enter the kingdom of heaven? He says, no. He said, but if you repent, you can. But let it play a couple times. And you, the leadership of the IUIC, you have a lot of explaining to do. If you keep teaching this, the Most High is going to destroy you guys. No, you can't. So the white man can force it in you. Can you not still repeat? You should have still been able to repent, right? See what I'm saying? So that's why I read the scripture about them having dominion over your body. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? This guy said to Esau can force it in you. Again, that's not what uh, the Apostle John saw. We go in uh, the book of Revelation, the 20th chapter, where the Apostle John saw was Israelites that, that are going to become martyrs. You know why? Because although Esau is going to make this thing mandatory under the penalty of death, that's the last step for the so-called New World Order, you're going to have Israelites flat out rejecting it. And the penalty they're going to pay for that is lose their life. All right? They're going to become what is called martyrs. And that's actually a blessing. All right? Yahweh already told us, fear not him, that can kill the body. Matter of fact, I believe that's Matthew 10 and 22. So it's going to get critical out here. And we keep warning you and warning you until the time comes when we won't be able to warn you anymore. As it is written, the prudent shall keep silent for it is an evil time. Who is the prudent? Those that know these scriptures, as in the prophets, the apostles, the teachers. The time is coming when we won't be speaking anymore. So you better listen. You better take heed. Let me see. Uh, kill the body. Oh, it's gonna get it's gonna get nasty out here for you men as well as you women and your children. It is. It's actually Matthew ten and twenty eight. These are the words of Yahweh Shai. He said this, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Right, the spirit. So the, the time is coming when brothers are going to be brought to these government buildings and they're going to be, they're going to put, an ultimatum is going to be put to them. Are you going to take this mark or not? And if the brothers say, no, I'm not going to take it, no matter what you tell me, I'm not going to take it. He's going to be instantly put to death by a guillotine or by, by torture, however means it's going to happen. And that was his lot. That was his lot to glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? And all of us face the that possibility that's a very real scenario that's about to happen in the coming days man the coming months the coming days and within our minds those of us that know and understand the truth we've prepared for it in our minds okay and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul 
Now you know what that means. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in, in hell. Meaning in destruction. So what is so who is that? That's Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is the one we fear. And already it is written, uh Yahweh said, uh, why do you fear how did he say it? He said, um, uh you you fear the oppressor. And then he goes on to say, Where's the fury of the oppressor? The fury of the oppressor comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That's where the fury of the oppressor comes from. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai controls everything. So we don't fear Esau. Esau's power comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. <laughs> we know the truth, man. As it is written, perfect love casteth out fear. Perfect love of what? Perfect love of the truth casteth out fear. We don't have room in our hearts for fear. Fear time is over. Uh, Revelation 20 and 4. And say, I'm say, and saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them, those are the brothers, that are not going to take that, M, that, that mark, that C-H-I-P, that C-H-I-P. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahusha. And we know that that's possible. We know that's a very uh, probability, because within these concentration camps, within these detention centers where we will be brought to, for not accepting that mark of the New World Order, within those concentration camps and detention centers are guillotines. What is a guillotine? That's an instrument that is used to behead people. Okay? So this is what the Apostle John saw. He said, And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. So th this guy in the IUIC just said, If Esau forced it upon you, there's no forcing it upon you. Okay, is, is the, men, the men of the Lord are going to have that spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and they're just not simply not going to take it. Okay, remember, this is, listen, this is a trial from the Heavenly Father. Elder Apostle Tal Bin said that. Okay, that this is a trial. When they make this thing mandatory, this is a trial of the Heavenly Father. That Mark. Okay, he said he will bring the temptation upon the earth to try all of them that dwell on the earth. That's the trial. Who's going to take the mark and who's not? Now, I have, I, I'm telling you here now that the members of the elect are not going to take the mark no matter what. So there's no force in the mark on you. What is this guy talking about? That IUIC guy. I mean, they make it up as they go. I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, for the word of Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, and which had not worshipped the beast. Now we know what that means. Neither his image, neither received his mark. They're going to flat out turn it down. And they're going to pay with it with their lives. Uh, and, and neither had received this mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh a thousand years. Now remember the Apostle Paul said we shall not prevent them that are asleep. Okay. In other words if they, put, if they are put to death these brothers that are going to flatly re reject it. They're the first ones that's going to be on the chariots. Okay. They're the first ones that's going to be risen up. All right. <laughs> It tells us that in 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. So we know the truth, man. Let's get back to the video. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or uh, uh, you got the chip in you, you don't know it. Guess what? You still should be able to repeat. What are you talking about? You got the chip in you, you don't know it. The, 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 oh, man, the ignorance. The, the fucking ignorance. Listen, you, you get that mark in you, you're going to know it. First of all, the, the scriptures tell us those that get the, the mark in them, which is that sea hip, they will receive a grievous sore. This is a thing. Does this guy know what the fuck he's talking about? This is a thing that emits radiation in the body. It's powered by the body and it emits radiation in the body, causes cancer. Did this guy did his research, man? These guys, they just, they just, man. <sighs> Let's move on, man. You get into the kingdom of heaven regardless. Right, there's so, no, there's right. no, there's no taking of the mark and you don't know it. What the fuck is this guy talking about? I'm sorry I got to be that way, but I got to be that way. Huh? What is he talking about? Look, once you take that fucking mark, it emits radiation in the body. Plus, as it is written, those that took the mark shall receive a grievous sore. That is clearly written. What's a, what's another word for a sore? A canker. Where does the word cancer come from? Canker. A sore is a canker. Look it up. Okay? So if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? Hell fucking And no. if you get the MOTB, can you 
make it in the kingdom of heaven, right? Then he turns around and says, see him, see him, see him. Showing you that he knows what it is. He didn't say, nope, first of all, it's sin. Uh, first of all, it's Christianity. Oh, it's, a, it's an embargo. He didn't say all that. We're going to listen. I'm going to let you listen to it two more times, then I'm going to go, go back. You think, no, you can't tell what the white man can force it in you. You cannot still repeat. You should still be able to repent, right? See what I'm saying? So that's why I was reading the scripture about them having dominion over your body. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or uh, you got the chip in you, you don't know it. Guess what? Dominion over your body. They don't have no dominion over the elect. The elect ain't going to take that mark, no matter what. As a matter of fact, some of the elect, they're going to pay with their lives for not taking the mark. I just read it to you. They're called martyrs. Again, what the hell is this guy talking about? But he's a reflection of the leadership of the IUIC. I'm telling you here now, Yahab Hashim is going to flatten that group. Then he's going to extract the members of the elect that he want, and he's going to bring them to the real truth, the 100% truth. Not those that have an assimilation of the truth. You still should be able to repeat and get into the kingdom of heaven regardless. Right. So, right. So, if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? You think? What's the MOTB? Let's keep listening. No, you can't. So, if the white man can force it in you, can you not still repeat? Force what did you? An embargo? <laughs> Christianity? Sin? <laughs> you said you you you, you sinned long before. Look. <laughs> going back to Adam they sinned before the beast came on the earth Solomon sinned before the beast when did the beast come upon when, when did the beast show up on the earth the first beast was 2000 some odd years ago the Roman Empire now we're in right. the time of the second the rebirth of the beast Revelation 13 so you heard it I didn't put words in these guys mouths I'm letting you listen to them so he's equating the MOTB with the C hip. That's right. You got a lot of explaining to do the leadership of the IUIC. They changed their story again. That's it. They're changing their story. That's it. You can now, you know, I'm rubbing it in, you know me. So you can now get it. The new the new rule is with IUIC, you can get it. Yep. You can get it. Yeah, go ahead and take it. You want to eat? You know, as Johanna, Johanna told uh, Deacon, Deacon Hakkar, if you're listening, please do a video on it, Deacon Hakkar. I got to stop it there. Yeah, you can take it. Yeah, adding to what Apostle Dahl said. You can take it. And don't worry, at that moment, you can just repent and everything is honky-dory. Yeah. Like the Heavenly Father really deals like that through His only begotten Son. Right? <laughs> like the scriptures say, children in whom there is no faith. Those guys have no faith. Well, this is the same group that made fun of us. They call us faith-based Israelites. No faith, okay? Like the easy way out, right? You can take the easy way out. Like there was an easy way out for Yahweh Shai, right? No, Yahweh Shai had to actually go on the cross and sacrifice himself, right? But for those guys, there's an easy way out, right? Jake always looking for the easy way out. No character, no faith, no character. Let's take the easy way. The <laughs> phone had to chime on that one. That you spoke to him, and I believe that you spoke to him. You have no reason to lie. That even General Johanna knows that the MOTB is a C-hip because he said, look, man, you're going to take it, and I'm going to take it because you want to eat, and your kids got to eat. That's what Deacon Akar uh, said in the video. This was, I don't know, this was eight years ago, maybe? Eight years ago, so that's showing you what if 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 that if that conversation actually went down, then then General Yohani knows exactly what the MOTB is, and these individuals here, well, this, these they ain't talking, but he's talking. Now, if he's going off to them, they should say, "Well, wait a minute, brother, you're going off. I'm covering all bases here." <laughs> You should have still been able to repent, right? See what I'm saying? So that's why I read the scripture about them having dominion over your body. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or uh, you got the chip in you, you don't know it. Guess what? 
you still should be able to repeat and get into the kingdom of heaven regardless. Right. So, right. So, if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? You think? No, you can't. So, if the white man can force it in you, can you not still repeat? You should still be able to repeat, right? See what I'm saying? So, that's why I read the scripture about them having dominion over your body. So, if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or, oh, you got the chip in you, you don't know it. Guess what? You still should be able to repeat. Them having dominion over your body. That means they can take a dildo and shove it up your ass. They have dominion over your body, right? <laughs> you can get into the kingdom of heaven regardless. Right. So, right. So, if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? You think? No, you can't. So, if the white man can force it in you, can you not still repeat? You should have still been able to repeat, right? See what I'm saying? So that's why I read the scripture about them having dominion over your body. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or uh, you got the chip in you, you don't know it. Guess what? You still should be able to repeat and get into the kingdom of heaven regardless. Right. So, right. How many times do I got to play it? Matter of fact, is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a copy of it just in case they take it down. So I got it on record. Yeah, well, you heard it for yourself. All right. <laughs> you heard it for yourself, brothers. This is why the scriptures speak about the elect of the nation of Israel. OK, this is why we say we have 100 percent truth. You got a lot of slicksters out there. OK, you got a lot of slicksters out there that the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshai is simply not dealing with. You got a lot of deceivers out there. You got a lot of false prophets, false teachers out there. What's the point of the matter? The point is. Anyone who takes that mark of the beast will be destroyed. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And that's pursuant to the vision that Apostle John saw on the island of Patmos, which is recorded in the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, the 9th and the 10th verse. Okay? So with that, on to the next one.